Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So in today's video, we're going to be going over some hidden details that was part of the gameplay trailer that was released yesterday during the episode of Inside Xbox. But overall, the trailer went quite quick and it went from scene to scene very fast, so there are things that you guys have probably missed. And I will say that I am disappointed that it wasn't actual raw gameplay. This was sort of a cinematic gameplay of a bunch of sections of the game that were sort of put together. But it was nice to see exactly how the game was going to be looking in-engine running on the Xbox Series X. But real quick before we jump into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future updates. Uploads. So the trailer opens up staring at the blue eyes of Eivor, which is going to be our lead character in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it quickly transitions to the site of a Norse temple that's silhouetted against the Northern Lights, which to be honest, I'm really excited that they're bringing the Northern Lights into this game. It is such an iconic thing to see in person, which I have not, and I'm really excited to be able to see that in the game. Then it transitions into what appears to be some sort of a feast by the Vikings in their longhouse, which I'm glad to see the attention to detail with the Vikings and their way of life. And then it transitions into this shot here. As you can see with the lightning in the background, we have Thor, which for those of you that know him more than just the character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he is the god of thunder and lightning, and his father is Odin himself. And in this next scene, we see the hidden blade that is on the left arm of Eivor, which looks to be some sort of a customizable blade, because this looks a lot different from the cinematic trailer that we saw a few days ago. And one of the lead developers did go in-depth with the character customization, saying there is going to be an insane amount of character customization especially when every single gear piece in the game is going to be unique. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out and how different our Vikings will actually be able to look playing through the story of Valhalla. Moving along, we see Eivor standing in what looks to be some sort of a small temple, and you can see here that the tattoos are showcased, which are going to be fully customizable in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and this is going to be one of the many things that you're going to be able to customize with your character. But to do this, I believe there is a settlement building that you're going to be building in your settlement that's going to be strictly for the tattoos. Moving right along, we see Eivor's long ship here, which looks to be in some sort of a snowy environment, so I believe this is going to still be in Norway, which is where the game starts. And you can also see up on the hill there that there is a fort, and this is how the raiding system is going to work. So you're going to be able to go out and explore in your longship, but this is not going to be like your naval battles like you've seen in previous Assassin's Creed games, but you will be able to spot forts and then go attack those forts with your raiding party via the Viking longship. And in this next shot, we see our first look at Odin's Raven, which is going to be similar to the previous Assassin's Creed games when it comes to the Eagle Vision. And this is going to be your bird companion that you're going to be using in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And with the Norse mythology, this is directly tied to Odin because the Raven is Odin's companion. And it will be a little different being the fact that this time around it is a Raven, but overall the concept should stay pretty much the same as it was in Assassin's Creed Origin and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And moving along, we get our first shot in England, and this looks absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to explore all of the territories in this region. And at the forefront there, you can see what looks to be some sort of a statue, or it could actually be a Viking altar. And in this next shot, we see some sort of an armored character hoisting a banner and planting it into the ground, as well as he is overlooking a fort. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a faction that is getting ready to attack another faction in the game, but this is definitely not one of the Vikings that is in our clan. And then a few scenes later, we get this iconic shot of Stonehenge. And I'm not sure if this is just going to be an in-game landmark or there will be much more to this. Maybe we'll try to figure out the stories behind this iconic landmark. Now, over the next few scenes, we get to see the warriors of King Alfred, which is the king of Wessex in England. After that, we see Eivor's longship pull up and Eivor jumps off of the boat and a bunch of chaos ensues including this shot of Eivor blowing his Viking Warhorn, which is also known as the Jallerhorn, which I'm assuming we're going to be doing this every time we raid a fort or go into battle. Next, we have Eivor running into battle and using some sort of a jump attack to take down this enemy, and it quickly flashes to what looks to be a fort. Now, this could be a fort in the game that we're going to have to attack, or this could be the start of our Viking settlement. But to be honest, this looks like some sort of an enemy fortress that we're going to have to take down in the game. Then it flashes over to this moment here where Eivor tackles this guy and gives him a crushing blow. But if we look back at this, this guy isn't really wearing any armor, so I'm not exactly sure what faction or region he is going to be a part of. But he is definitely not part of the soldiers under King Alfred that we saw in the cinematic trailer. And then we also get our first look at Eivor using a bow with a shield on his back. Because there is going to be a wide variety 
of weapons that you're going to be able to use in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, including swords, axes, maces, bows, and even more that you're going to be able to dual wield with shields as well. And I cannot wait to explore the different combinations of the weapons in this game. And then we see here what looks to be some sort of a battering ram trying to batter their way into that fort that we just saw a couple of scenes ago. And this should be very interesting to see how this is going to play out. If this is going to be a staged part of the game, or this is going to be something that you're going to be able to do during the raids. And then we also see Avoy running away from what looks to be an insane amount of enemies chasing him down. And it quickly jumps to this scene here where we can see Avor throwing multiple throwing axes at different enemies around him. And the devs did confirm that this is going to be one of the weapons that you're going to be able to use in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But I am not sure if for say that you can dual wield a sword and an axe and then also have a bunch of throwing axes that you're going to be able to use as well. I guess it depends on how you go through the skill tree and spec out your character. And here in the second to last scene of the trailer we can see Eivor standing in front of what seems to be a village that they have just pillaged and it is completely left in ruins and multiple buildings are engulfed in flames and then it pans back to the face of Eivor with those iconic blue eyes and overall there was a lot of information in this gameplay trailer like I said there was a lot of people myself included that were disappointed that it wasn't a gameplay demo or I would say raw gameplay but it did showcase a lot of details that we did not know of so far and I'm really looking forward to more information coming out about Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I will be covering all of that here on the channel but overall that's going to do it for the video if you enjoyed it you are excited about assassin's creed valhalla make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding assassin's creed valhalla as well as ghost recon breakpoint on the channel moving forward but that is all for now thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out